What's good everybody, Mr. Nike SB6 back again, 153rd Nike SB video. I know it's been a long time since I did a review. Um, this review I've been dying through for a pretty long time. This is my favorite pro model that came out from Nike SB. Let's shoot into 360 view of both of these bitches right now. We're gonna start off with the inside of the shoe. One cool feature that I always noticed is you can see the light going through. That is an airbag for when you're hitting gaps. All right, starting with the outsole now. You have an all black outsole. Um, I always like the grip that they used. As you can see towards the heel, you have the white swoosh with that little um, clear see-through um, space theme, which is a little rocket ship right there in white. On to the midsole, as you can see, it is an all white midsole. Um, it is a cup sole. Now on to the toe backs of the shoe. Uh, this is an old charcoal gray suede toe box with your black contrast. Stitching. Um, it does have two different pieces, which is right here around the toe and the top of the toe box, which is like the dunks that we're used to seeing. Now on to the eyelets. Um, it is once again that charcoal gray suede with your black contrast stitching. The mid panel is made of this um, mesh material, which is also charcoal gray. You have a black leather swoosh. Okay, now to the heel and the back panel of the shoe. Um, this is the first Nike SB that's ever been seen with flywire material. Um, definitely an awesome feature. I, I always notice that this sneaker has a sort of a wide um, ankle area up top. So I kind of had that feeling that um, it wouldn't really support your ankle as you were skating. But that's the reason for the flywire material it's around the whole top portion. It's once again that charcoal gray suede with black contrast stitching. You got your little stitching X back right here. Okay, mesh material for the bottom portion of the tongue. As you work your way up to the top, you have this charcoal gray suede once again and your little triangle which Nike SB hit stitched in white. Your charcoal gray backdrop. Um, one awesome feature, of course, that we're used to seeing on the older model is the zipper pocket. Okay, now to the insole of the sneaker. As you can see it says uh, Omar welcome to outer space uh, Nike SB right here um, I always notice in the back that I forgot to mention was this pull tab which is just an easy way to put on the sneaker that was definitely awesome as well some of these features are now gone from the new model so we'll show you the features that are gone and mention them in the next review okay now on to the insole of the shoe as you can see now it has Lunar Lawn um, definitely great for comfort Obviously, you know, hitting big gaps and having to go down hard on your heel. Now the outsole, you have that gum outsole with a uh, different threading. Definitely good for board feel. Onto the midsole, you have um, a vulcanized midsole, which is a very light midsole. Okay, now to the toe box, you have this suede on the toe box, which is navy blue. Um, you have your white stitching on top of that, and it sits right here just as well. This is no longer like the um, older version. It is just an all one piece. Okay, on your mid panel, as you can see, you have a canvas material that is also navy blue. Um, your eyelids have that same material, which is on the toe box that is suede, navy blue as well. White contrast stitching on that. You have your little metal, metal uh, eyelet up, the, up top. You have a white leather swoosh. All right, up top on the ankle area, we have that suede once again, which is white contrast stitching. Um, we still see that X design in the back, which is stitched in white once again. Canvas hit right here in the back panel. Um, no longer has that little pull tab for the easy, uh, you know, to put on the shoe. Mesh material for the bottom portion of the tongue. Uh, the top is all canvas. We still see that triangle Nike SB stitched in um, white, which your back drop being navy blue. Uh, Omar Salazar once again written the same way with the Omar in the middle that is embossed in. We have mesh material for the inside of the shoe. Um, one feature again that is not on the shoe anymore which is the zipper pocket. Now the old 
older version of the Omar Salazar. All around awesome sneaker. I love all the features it has. From the fat tongue to the fly wire. That easy pull up when the shoe is off, which is right here. Definitely awesome. Just an all around great sneaker. Okay, the newer version of the Omar Salazar. Once again, a very comfortable shoe. Awesome look to the shoe. Always had a blazer feel to it, and I've always been into blazers. So this is a must cop for me, and I so far like all the colorways that came out. Okay, I reviewed the older version of the Omar Salazar. The newer version, um, you've seen the differences. Vulcanized sole, cup sole, um, different grips on the bottom. This one has the pull on, easy pull on right here in the back. This no longer has that. Um, fat or thin tongue with the zipper pocket. The new one no longer has that. Uh, fly wide material on this one, no longer on this one. Omar Salazar, you made an awesome shoe. Thank you very much, because this is my favorite pro model. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment. If you want, go follow me on Instagram, at MrNikeSB6. And you can follow me on Twitter as well, at MrNikeSB6. Plenty more vids to come. Stay tuned.